everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Becky Setra remember to like subscribe and share and um, so today I am very excited I'm going to be talking about how to start life as overseas or international nurse in the UK so the excitement is over you've got your visa or your work permit and you have arrived in the UK you've got your job offer and you'll be thinking okay where do I start so the good thing these days is that most of your employers, agencies or NHS would be providing you with a temporary accommodation. It might be three months less or more, so you don't have to be worrying about accommodation. But I think the most important thing for you to remember is it would be great to come at least a week before your start of employment date so you can explore the environment to explore where you are see how you can navigate to the hospital or care home you're going to be working at see if you can find where you can get your african food shops whether you can find your indian food shops whether you can find your filipino food shop it's important because you want to carry on eating some of the lovely meals you like from home you would be uh, provided with uniform. Most employers would give you uniform, so you don't worry about that. Another thing to remember is that when you start work, you need to make sure you have what we call NI number, which is National Insurance Number. It is based on the National Insurance uh, Number that your tax is calculated. It is based on that that your state pension is calculated so it is very very important and um, some people who have got their biometric um, resident permits do have the ni number at the back of it if you haven't got it phone your nearest uh, job center in your locality they'll give you an appointment they will ask you to bring proof of address proof of job and all those things and they would help you to get one of those um, another thing is a bank account as well it's important to get a bank account because here that is through which you will be paid um, most of the banks you just ring whichever you want they would make an appointment for you they would ask you to bring some documents like contract of employment a letter from your employer proof of address and all those things or you can take your passport as well some of the most common banks we you can use are um, HSBC, we have NatWest, there is Halifax, there is Lloyd's and there is Santander. So there are several banks, the choice is yours. And um, you also need to register with a GP. GPs are general practitioners. Um, when you think about wherever you're coming from, you can visit any hospital when you're unwell, depending on how much money you have. Um, over here, you have to go to your local GP you'll be given um you would ring your local gp um and then you make an appointment to be seen because there are certain medications if you are long um, term condition or chronic condition you may bring medication with you but when you run out you can only get prescription through your gp so it's important to register with a gp um all you need to do is ring them they have uh, online registration forms you can fill or sometimes they want you to come there face to face with some ID which you can do. There is what we call NHS pension. You need to, if you're working for the NHS, I would encourage you to enroll on the NHS pension scheme because your employers would be contributing partly to that and you would be contributing. So apart from your um, state pension, the NHS pension is separate, so you will end up having two pensions when you retire. So it is very um, helpful. So I would encourage you, if you're working with the NHS, to enroll on that. Um, there are professional organisations you can join as well, such as RCN, which is the Royal College of Nursing, and Unising. Um, they are bodies or uh, professional bodies that support nurses. Bear in mind the whichever employer you're working for they have different shift patterns it could be early or late but most often they do long days could be starting from 7 30 finishing at 8 in the evening it depends uh, from employer to employer so just bear that in mind um, and another thing is to remember when you move from your temporary accommodation, remember to ring your bank and all the important companies you're dealing with, energy companies and all that, tell them you're moved 
so that you can do the necessary change of address. Finally, loneliness is very common here. Uh, especially you have come, you don't know anybody. Um, the good thing is we have social media and you can be ringing families and doing all the video calls. So that's not too bad, but you can join um, other organizations. If you're a Christian, you join your Christian community and you can make friends from churches. Um, also, there are different organizations, professional organizations like uh, Filipino Nurses Association. There are some African associations as well you can join. Um, there are Indian Nurses Associations you can join. So if you need support, you can reach out to people. Um, but apart from that, I think these are the basic things you need to know uh, to help you start life as overseas or international nurse when you arrive in the UK. Remember to like, subscribe and share. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.